Yo, 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 it's your boy Swag. I'm back on ShabirTyson.com where the music at. Who I'm in the building with today? Chasing dough, chasing dough. Man, we did a lot for the city. Where you grew up from? I grew up in Inglewood. No, West Inglewood, West Chicago. Inglewood. Yeah. So how was life growing up in Chicago for you? Um, just like any any other person in Chicago, you know what I'm saying, in the hood, you feel me? Fucked up, you know? Shit, you got all type of different gangs and all that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? You was like shit, everything around you was like, it'll, it'll, it'll have you like ready to do the same shit, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta weed through all the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Make the best out of the situation, you know? Oh shit. Everybody want doing music. It was either you shit, selling crack, selling any kind of drugs, bouncing ball, bouncing the ball, throwing the ball, you feel me, or shit, rapping. And shit, I chose the music path, you know? Right. So how did you get your name, Chasing Doe? Shit, uh, I got Chasing Doe through, um, through a, through a feature I had to do. Um, my homie Jay Hill sent me a feature. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I remember on the feature, I was like, I was mad at my baby mama. I'm like, man, tell that bitch I'm chasing dough, bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And I'm like, damn, I tell her I'm chasing dough. Like, that was my first tag. My first tag was tell her, tell her I'm chasing dough. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But then I'm like, shit, I'm gonna switch it. You know what I'm saying? The chasing dough. I wanted people to feel like it was two people. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm so versatile, I can go from making some drill shit, trap shit, to to some slow R&B shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And shit, I just stuck with the shit, you know, I was doing cutting hair, you know what I'm saying, shit. Every every type of hustle you can name, bro, so it was like, I'm chasing it. You just yeah. trying to get that money. Exactly. As long as it's adding up, bro, I'm chasing it, you know what I mean? So I felt like it was perfect and commercial. So when did you start Trap Scholars? I started Trap Scholars in 2013. 2013? Yeah, 2013, man. So uh. You been going strong for four years. How did that idea come about? Trap Scholars? Yeah. Uh-huh. I was listening to Gucci. The, the whole name, you know what I'm saying? I was listening to one of uh, Goo Out songs or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he said something about Trap Scholars, you know what I'm saying? I was always like trying to figure out how I'm a, like what type of name I was going to go with. It ain't really a label name situation, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a multimedia group, you feel me? Right. But the way we carrying it, carrying it is like a label, you know what I mean? So. I wanted to, as soon as I heard that shit, I'm like, I'm going with that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm going with it. And Trap Scholars, I know you do beats, g knock shoot videos. Mm -hmm. What else do you guys do for Trap Scholars? Man, everything, bro. Uh, shit. I ain't even gonna say managing because, shit, you gonna have motherfuckers on my heels after this interview, man. <laughs> but uh, we graphic design and videography, you know what I'm saying? Uh, artist development, um, shit, photography. Web designing, like everything, bro. You know what I mean? Everything you can think of, we on. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we just uh got back into the apparel. You know, shit, I got on one of the shirts right now. You know what I mean? Trap scholars. So, yeah. Who else you work with in Trap scholars? Is there anybody else that you work with besides you two? I mean, we started off with a with a with a nice amount of people. Really, right now it's just me and Gino. You know what I mean? We just grinding it out, you know, we got different people who rapping or whatever, but it's really just me and bro. Okay, you've been putting on for some years. Who are some artists that you got a chance to work with over the years? Shit, man, bro. That's a lot of motherfuckers, man. Uh, shit. King Louie, of course, you know what I'm saying? Um, Spanzo. Um, Dirt. Um, shit, who else, who else, who else? L.A. Capone, can't forget about little bro. Uh, Rondo, Fredo, Chell Age, Rocky Fresh, uh, Knowledge. Um, shit. Nick Cannon, Chirac, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Spike Lee, you feel me? Like, it's a lot, man, it's a lot of motherfuckers, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I got a question for you. Yeah. Like, what's your favorite three songs that you produce so far? Man, shit. I say him no Carlito, ain't nothing changed. Cause that shit like is heartfelt, you know what I'm saying? Uh LA Capone, play for keeps, you feel me with Rondo number nine. Uh the Elgato jumping shit that just dropped. Uh, and pro 
probably Louie. She want me. So what program do you use? FL Studio. You always use FL Studio? Always use FL Studio. I tried different different programs, you know what I mean? But uh, it's like I ain't really like rock out with it too hard, you know what I mean? Yeah, Ableton Live and all that type of shit, I wasn't fucking with it too much, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm a, I'm a bang out with FL Studio, bro. So how many years of experience do you have with Shh. FL? Man, I've been fucking with FL Studio since like fucking 2005, bro. Okay. Probably before, matter of fact, it was before then because shit, my auntie had the shit on her computer. It was like FL3 or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Four or something. I was a shorty fucking around, you know what I'm saying? But like actually knowing what I'm doing, bro, probably like since like 2010, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been making beats since about 2005, 06, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere around that time, but like, it was just like little shit, you feel me? Did a producer inspire you to make beats, or was it just something oh, yeah, that you yeah. always liked as far as I mean, sounds? when Jeezy when Jeezy came with the whole thug motivation shit, you know what I'm saying? That that 101, it set the fucking hood on fire, you know what I'm saying? And like shit, I ain't know what the fuck beats was at the time or none of that shit, but I I knew like that shit moved me and everybody around me at the time, like on my uncles and shit, you riding around, you know what I'm saying? Shit dumping, bro, you feel me? Two twelves in the back, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I need to learn how to do this shit, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Learned how to do it, you know, shit. Everybody who produced for, for Jeezy at the time, like Shawty Red, Drummer Boy, shit, uh, Mike Will, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers like that, bro, you know? Okay. When making beats, do you have a signature sound that you put in your beats? I mean, shit, you would never know what the fuck I'm finna make, bro. I can goddamn it, shit. Go to some trap shit, to some R&B shit, to hip hop, boom bap. Shit, to some reggae dance hall ass shit, bro. You never know, you know what I mean? But the drums, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you would be like, I. Right. If you sit me down with with any producer, you would know who did the drums, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I say the drums. Okay, so um, you got a unique tag for your um beats. How did you come up with that? Tweaking in a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Tweaking, man. Uh, one of my homies, uh, girl at the time and shit, her daughter. We used to like have, have motherfuckers come through and shit, get on the mic, you know what I mean? Oh. And uh, she was like, tell him I'm chasing dog. I was trying, I was gonna make a little footwork and join off her. We was just in that motherfucker tweaking, bro, you feel me? And, uh, I'm like, I'm gonna keep this as a tag, bro. <laughs> Fuck that shit, I like that shit better than tell her I'm chasing dog. Cause the first tag I had when I changed the name, it was like shit. Uh, it was tell her I'm chasing dope, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm like, shit, tell them I'm chasing those. Like, now, nah, shit, tell everybody real wide, like, fuck that shit, you feel me? Trying to get this money. Exactly. So, you also rap and you produce, which one you love most? Producing, bro. Producing. I'd rather, I'd rather write for a motherfucker, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I produce, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather produce, you feel me? But, if I chose the rap route, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather write for a motherfucker, you shit, you feel me?